everyone. Um, I wanted to take a minute, and I'm sorry, I don't know how the quality of this video is going to be, but I'm taking this today, Thursday. It's like April 25th. I'm not sure. But I want to get it up today because I'm going to a crop tomorrow, and I want to show you guys a little bit about my new thing for packing for a crop. Now, to be fair, I did this back in January. <laughs> I went to a crop in January and I knew there wasn't going to be a lot of space. So I took um, a bunch of scrapbook generation kits that I had been piling up and I got a lot done. It was only a one day crop. I think it was like 12 hours maybe, but I still got quite a bit done because they were all kits. They were all there. All I did was match up the number of photos with them and it turned out really well. And so I came home from that crop looking at how I pack for crops just a little bit different. Now, to be fair, this packing that I did, and I will show you here in just a minute, is it takes a little bit of time. But what I did, because I don't take my sketchbooks with me, there's just too many of them. Um, I could take my page maps one, and I did think about printing up actually a page maps, all the page maps PDFs and putting them in my crop case. But at the same time, I realized I could always go online and look at them. And when I'm at a crop, that's what I would always do is look at Pinterest for inspiration if I needed and things like that. But I also use scrapbook generation sketches quite a bit. So, um, and when taking the scrapbook generations, they were even easier because, you know, they have all the sizes and they have the photo placements down for you. So it's easier to also chat with your friends while getting a lot done, which I usually get a lot done anyway at crops. It doesn't seem to be a problem for me to chat at the same time. Um, sometimes I get more done than other times. So I don't really worry about how much I'm going to get done exactly. But this time I wanted to get, I wanted to do this to see how much I did get done. So in here, you guys know probably by now that I keep my collections by the collection. So this is all of this Christmas by Doodlebug. This is all of Echo Park's uh, something boy. <laughs> Imagine that collection. This is all of Echo Park's whatever this Easter collection is. This is all of Doodle or Bella Boulevard's wish big collection for girls so i keep them this way on my shelves and you can see more about that when i do my room tour or i will just do a video about how i keep my collections so i keep them in these these are cropper hopper folders um i have a bunch of these from when they were cropper hopper they do make a similar item but it's under a different name and the name is escaping me at the moment so i'm not going to worry about that unless you really want to know leave me a comment below but I have been finding actually that I like the Ziploc bags by Close to My Heart a little better. They just hold things a little better and they're not bulky. See how this one's kind of open at the top? This has about the same amount of stuff, but it's not open at the top. It just, I don't know. I like these, but um, the Ziploc bags work just as well for me. And I have this container that I take them in. This I got at the container store, which is no longer around here. So I don't know if that even exists. And I got them probably 10 years ago, but they're probably about 13 by 13 by eight or nine tall so I don't really know any little case like this would work so what I did this time around you can see in the front is a bunch of folded papers and I just tried to do this video where I tried taking them all out to show you but everything here was coming with it I must have used this collection already and that's why everything's in pieces in here because usually it's unopened like this here so you, usually you can see the ephemera pieces and everything are completely unopened. Um, so I don't know why these are all spilled out. But what I did was I took some time, and this did take a little bit of time, I'm not going to lie, but I went through, I already had a bunch of photos, and if I didn't, I found photos. But I knew what photos, it's Christmas, it's not that hard to find photos to go with it. But what I did was if I had one photo, so this is one photo, I went through my sketches and found a one photo sketch that I really liked. This one is by Laura Whitaker and I have all her sketchbook printed up and put in a binder. But I didn't want to take the nice ones that I had printed up out of the binder and fold them up and have them get all crinkly and wrinkly at the crop. So what I did was I just took a picture of the sketch I wanted to use with my phone and printed it up for my printer like that. And then I put it, put the one photo, so that's just one photo with the one photo sketch. And then I put the photo in there and I folded it in half 
and I stuck it in with the collection I planned to use it with. And here you can see from above, probably be easier to see maybe. Well, okay, I guess not, but all of these right here are folded sketches, um, photos with sketches. And a lot of them, what I like about this too, is they are scrapbook generation, which I can't show you. Um, but there's a lot of scrapbook generation sketches in here, which you can't usually find online or, you know, like on Pinterest or anywhere like that. So some of them are ones you can find like the Laura Whitaker one, or if I have one photo, after I did a few collections with pictures, I started just putting the one photo pictures in here and the two photos because you can find tons of those on Pinterest. But the seven, eight, 10, 12 pictures, those you can't find as easily. So those have sketches to go with them too. And you can see, what does that say? I don't know what that says, so I don't know whose sketch that is by. This might be a page maps one actually. So again, I put, yeah, it looks like a page maps. So I had one photo. This looks like two, but it's actually two. Well, it is two. Did I pick two? I must not. I must have thought it was the same one. He's making a little bit. Sorry, the glare. You can't tell. He's making a funny face. So I'm not sure what I will end up doing with that. But then see, this was just a page map sketch. So I took my phone really up close up to the sketch and took a picture of it. And I didn't worry about how blurry this is because I get the gist of the sketch. So I know basically what I want to do with it. Um, I might have to change that one now after looking at the photos. I'm not really sure what I'll do with that. Uh, maybe I will show you. The ones I can show you at the end, the sketch I used and the, the page. When I come back, I will do a crop layout video. So that is for those collections. And then also in here, the crop that I went to in January was called Play All Day and it's by Embellish It. You can look them up. She does do different areas. So Portland is one she comes to. Um, she just does every, I don't really know how far she travels, but she also has a bunch of kits. And when I was there, you get a you know special price, like buy three, get one free, and they're all 20% off. So I went a little crazy, <laughs> which I'm going to that same crop again. It's a little different, but I'm going again in July. And I promised myself I might look and maybe buy a couple, but I was going to be a little better. But these, this is kind of an example of one of her kits. So I went ahead and all the kits that I bought, except for, with the exception of like two, I think there was two which I couldn't find photos for. In fact, I don't think I have photos yet for this bottom layout, but I will go ahead and put it together anyway. This was, I did all this before my new photo storage. And since I've done my photo storage, finding pictures for these will be so much easier. So what I did was I found pictures, stuck them in with the, the kit, and that one's ready to go. So there's quite a few of those in here too, which I'm planning those not taking very long time because other than inking the edges and stuff, um, you know, you just cut them down and put them together. So there's another one. Um, this one here is a, I'm not going to show you any further than this. This was a scrapbook generation kit that I got. I get their, I'm only subscribed to their SSC kits, which I can't remember at the moment what that stands for. Super sketch club. That's it. Um, so each month you get like five sketches total. So I divide them into these little plastic bags by the collection. If I have more of the collection, for example, I know there's a jelly bean soup one up here. This one, which again, I'm not going to show you any more than that, but this was one of their Super Sketch Club kits. And so I put this on one side of the 12 by 12 baggie with the sketch and the picture of the sketch. And then on the other side, I have all my other embellishments and things like that. So I'm going to do this sketch. And then I've also put added photos into here to do more with this um, collection when I'm done with the sketch. So, and here you can see again, this one I can pull out. I have the scrapbook generation kit ready to go. This one, it looks like they're all kind of everything's together. So I'll have to take a look at that, but it's not that hard. And I don't mind if I use their, their kits. I actually like it if I have more of the collection because I can use their kit and then add my own embellishments here and there, wherever I feel like I might need it. Especially since these were back from when you had to fussy cut everything out. And that can take a little bit of time, not too much, but now I have all the ephemera pieces and stuff like that. I'm not going to worry about that. <clears throat> 
and I'm sorry, I gotta leave here in just like two minutes, so I'm gonna hurry the rest of this up. But you can see I have more photos with more sketches down below in here. And again, I can't pull them all out because some of them are scrapbook generation sketches, but here's more Christmas. And another thing, I know that this collection might not stretch for all of these sketches. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But I have multiple Christmas ones in here because I've mentioned a few times I really want to get some Christmas done. I don't have a whole lot of Christmas done. Um, so, yeah. So if I have to take out some of the photos and leave them somewhere else to scrapbook later, then I will. Um, get this used up. That's what my goal is, is to use a lot of this up. And I'm doing this video. Hang on. I'm going to kind of get it back up on my knees here. So I have a lot in here, sketches, everything, ready to go. So I thought it would be a little bit fun to challenge myself and say, if I can get 40 layouts done, I will do a giveaway. <laughs> maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't, but I'm gonna challenge myself. So 40 layouts, it's a 24 hour crop. That might be pushing it. Let's say 35, let's do 35 layouts, 24 hour crop. If I can get that done, I'm going to do a giveaway. I thought that would be a lot of fun. So um, if you have any questions about how I'm packing, what I'm doing here, let me know. Um, I would love to answer anything below. Uh, and, and also when I am done, so say I finish all the pictures that I have with this collection, but I still want to keep the collection together. I will take the pictures and the finished layouts. I have like an iris box that I use, take to crops with me, and I just keep it to the side. And it's only for finished layouts or sketches that need to go back in my sketchbook so that they can be, you know, taken care of or I can reuse them in the future. Like the Kit Club sketches, I will take those once I use them and put them in my sketchbook binders. And then anything else, like whatever's left in here, I will either cut it down. I don't know if I will take the time to cut it down at the crop for my daily life albums or I'll put it right back in here and I will move on to whatever I feel inspired by next. So I'm not too worried about what I have here. And this just sits on the floor next to me. I take out a collection, work on it for a while, and then we're good. So um, yeah, that is my another way I'm packing for crops. And I'm really excited to see how many layouts I get done with all the sketches included this time around. So, all right, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any comments below. Give me a thumbs up, cross your fingers for me. I can get 35 done and I will do a giveaway. Um, yeah, that would be a lot of fun. So, all right, guys, have a great weekend. Um, it's supposed to be nice weather where I am. So we're gonna be doing gardening on Sunday and I'm kind of excited about that. All right, guys, have a great weekend, bye.